photographer. I'm an artist and uh, I studied in England in the Bristol Royal Academy of Art and uh, I now settled here in uh, County Mayo which is a place called Casala and overlooking Clue Bay. Um, I've got a studio and I take in our students every Tuesday and also uh, I am uh, painting every day in my life and also fishing on the bay now because I'm retired. So I have uh, lobster pots and I have different things on the bay and uh, I'm living off the land also because every, every now we're sort of growing our own crops of potatoes and everything else, you know. And uh, we have craft fairs like this that you, that you see now and uh, we invite people to come but uh, this is more or less an offshoot of a fair. It's only a few people here today but normally this is filled up with craft people. The whole stands are filled up. But the thing is, is that um, we do we sell now in different different towns around the area. Uh, there's a plant called Foxford, who are now holding a fair in the third, fourth, and fifth of, of uh, December, and uh, they will be over there with a load of craftspeople. And uh, anybody that comes to Ireland will get a uh, very very good welcome, and uh, you won't find any more friendly people. I come from England myself. I'm from Bristol in England. My wife's Irish. And uh, we came here in 1964, and I never looked back. <laughs> and uh, I, if you turn around now just to see there, you'll see a painting up on the wall, on the wall of the far wall. There's a line there, on the far wall. And the boat on it is my boat. <laughs> Okay, and and Chris, when did you start painting, or what? Well, I started painting when I was 16. I'm now 78, and uh, I'm retired, of course. But um, I worked in England for Rolls Royce, and uh, I was uh, one of the three designers for Rolls Royce. Not Rolls Royce cars, by the way, because people mistake they, they say Rolls Royce cars. No. We are 2% of Rolls Royce's cars. The rest of it were aero engines and engines of all types of things. We were in, uh, in competition to Pratt and & Whitney. <laughs> and uh, we used to go travel all around the States and uh, many, many towns in the United States uh, selling our engines. And uh, I was there, but uh, unfortunately I was away for at least nine months of the year. So I only saw each family for about three months. So I just got fed up with that. I realised I was just a clock number clicking from here to there to there to the other place. So I packed the job in and I said, right, we're going to Ireland today. Aww. So we came to Ireland and uh, I was on the boat, coming up on the boat. And uh, on the Tannoy system on the boat, it said, oh, nine bombs has gone off in Ireland. So I thought, what have I done? <laughs> you see? So I thought, well, now that's made the good of it. So I came to Ireland a little worried because the people had welcomed me and I, I, I never had a bad word said about anybody because I was English. And my wife, my wife's mother, she welcomed me in and literally we had a lovely time. We built a restaurant in Leash, first of all, for 10 years and then we came up to Mayo and built a place up here. And then uh, after about uh, four or five years uh, building the house and so forth, I took up a job on the Erith River, which is the Erith River in Lee Lan, which is County Mayo and County Galway. And uh, that was from my Batman family. They got blown up in Saigon. And I was supposed to be on that boat, but a phone call saved me. And I stayed behind to Gilly on the river. And uh, then I had a phone call on Monday to say they were all being blown up. That's amazing. So that's the whole thing. Okay, and I'm going <laughs> to look down here at some of your paints. Yeah, this is painting. Is, uh, we use oils. I use mostly oils, but uh, also I do uh, watercolors as well. And also uh, acrylic. I don't stop or start acrylics. I don't like acrylics at all because they're natural colors. Okay. It's very vivid colors. And uh, acrylics themselves are uh, unnatural colours. With the oil, which you can, as you see, you can blend them a lot, you know, on the actual job. This is one I just, for the show. So this one here is called Bluebell Walk. And the one that you, which you see down here 
is uh, is one which is a local scene coming through from Westport, and that's uh, Cocker Strand. Okay, you said Cocker Strand. Cocker Strand, yeah. Cocker Strand. Okay. That's right. I'm going to look at some of your cards down yeah, here. Yeah, your cards and, uh, of all the paintings. Um, this is a supplement that always I buy. <laughs> you know, if you don't sell something, you won't live. Okay, and you were telling me before that a lot of these are just places that are around you, places you've seen and you just paint. These are paintings of, of all my paintings. No, there's nothing there I haven't done. Yeah. Uh, and so probably sold, but I, I, I got the right to reproduce them. And also, um, I make a thing up like that, and I also make up uh, K. Miller Forte Utes like that. And that means, what does K. Miller Forte mean, you know? Does that mean a thousand, a hundred thousand more? A hundred thousand welcomes, that's right. Okay. That's where anybody comes in the house, you say K. Miller Forte. K. Miller Forte. K. Miller Forte. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> and uh, that would be uh, the main thing. But uh, we have uh, many people coming in from the States, they visit the gallery and uh, they like a painting, they say, well, I'm on a plane. Well, it's up there and I'll ship them to you. So I ship them to them. Okay. Them and ship them to them. <laughs> you know, and it's uh, very reasonable for shipping these days. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, that's the whole thing. And it makes the world so small. Again, yeah. we're not way 3,000 miles away. You I know. agree. You can take it home, especially these. These Especially beautiful these cars, little cards, yeah. just cars, yeah. pack them in your That's pocket right. and take them back to family. And um, I'll tell you what I will do, is I'll give you that one. Oh, If thank you're not you. interested, I'll say less of a drink. I'm Tina Man. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Chris. Right. I appreciate it. And uh, as, you're, as you're in America, I'll give you one of those as well. So you hang up in your house, you can tell people what it's for. And you don't know the Irish. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thanks for taking the time, Chris. You know.